I've been doing um, this, volunteering, for about four years. Right. And Carl, who started it all, he mentioned something about the big local. I'd only heard about it on the news briefly about the million pound win. And um, that's how it happened, really. I went to one of the meetings and I've been going to meetings for that past two years. I think when I got in with Carl doing the karate and volunteering here, I got to know a lot of the kids. And I, was, I don't live around here, but I work around here, so I have to see it every day, I see the kids every day. And anything that's going to improve the kids and improve the environment and improve the community in general, I think it's really important. I wanted to, to help and be a part of that. So I, I love my job around here. I love all right. people around here. They are really nice people, and the kids are really lovely as well. So Star People Award is when they give like a bit of money to set up, like a, I've done a Try It Award, so you can try to set up like your own business as such. So because um, we do street dance in the holiday club, but we don't do it out of the holiday club. There's nowhere that does street dance around here. So I've applied to do street dancing classes after the holiday club's finished in September, where once a week. Because so, the kids miss doing the dancing, right. so they wanted to come in somewhere. So I wanted to do it, so I'm going to try and do that. So I got approved. And I've had some t-shirts, and you see all the kids in the interview, they're wearing the t-shirts, so some t-shirts done, and um, we're going to do our first uh, performance at the gala, which LA, who does street dancing as well at school, she's helped like, immensely with that, because she's really good at dancing. Right. So. Right. I haven't... I haven't really decided yet. I'm still just trying this, the Try It Award out. I think we'll see, probably. Yeah. I'd like to do the Do It Award next, if yeah. I can, so. I'd like to see more, kids, more stuff for kids, definitely. I know it sounds a bit biased, because the old ones need it as well, but the kids are going to be the future. Mm. And I think anything that can make them better adults is a win. Mm. So I think most stuff for kids, not just outside but inside, like the holiday club needs to keep in. You know, the community centre mm. for the older ones, they need stuff to do. They like, can't just be off at little ones all the time. Mm. You know, a decent park somewhere for them to go. So yeah. that's yeah. what I'd like to see. Kids playing, properly playing, yeah. not sat on a wall with the phones. Um, Parents out with the kids playing, don't see that very often anymore, right. so that'd be nice, getting parents out with them as well. Um, people being a bit more neighbourly, a bit more. When we do trips, sometimes the, kids, the parents come, which we encourage, so that helps. Um, also the gala will probably do that as well. and. In Hall Halloween, at Christmas, we always do a Halloween party, a Christmas party, and that gets the parents involved. And they bring that the neighbours, and then they bring their kids, and they bring aunties and uncles and grannies and granddads, so it has a knock on effect and then. And that's helping create the neighbourliness yeah. as well. Yes, it, it is, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They ha I like to have my own street dancing class permanently, still doing this. Um, I, I do a bit of volunteering in the schools. Well, I, I did before, got a bit more busy. I go get busy this time of year, but I used to do volunteering in this school, actually not reading. Right. Maybe a bit more volunteering. Yeah. Maybe working with the older kids. I don't really... I tend to stay from the teenagers a little bit because they're trying to frighten me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, some of the teenagers as well, that'd be an experience, I suppose. Yeah. I think if we could get a little bit of money of our own and maybe we could, instead of spending that money straight away, try to make it stretch, try and maybe do fundraisers mm. just for the, and then whatever money we raise goes just for the kids then. Mm. So something like that. Mm. I mean, this is free. I don't think we'll be charging for it any time soon. If we did, it'd be like 50p. And even then that money would go towards pens and pencils, yeah. colouring books, yeah. stuff for the kids, that sort of thing. Long, uh, long, they're good, yeah. yeah, they are good. So, sometimes you come out and think, oh, and sometimes you come out and think, oh, I feel sorry, I thought we're going somewhere now, I'm so happy. So yeah, it's been a very long process, but it's been worth it, yeah. so yeah.
you can't you can't make it better without making it worse because on one hand sometimes there's too many people there too many opinions so you think things will get done a lot faster if less people was there so people got on a bit more but then you can't exclude people at the same time because they might have a really good idea that you've not heard of so it's kind of lesser two evils really mm. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do think they get on. I think the only problem with the partnership meetings is um, at first with a lot of talking and not enough doing. But then again, you can't do it until you research properly. You have to research it and research it again and research it again just to make sure. But we've definitely, last couple of months before we, we got everything settled, it, it was definitely going somewhere. It felt like both properly rolling then. Yeah. So. Are you confident that the partnership De will make a difference? In definitely, yeah, definitely.